Uh, in preparation for putting in the balancing beads, we're gonna go ahead and take out the valve stem core. That will release the air. That way we can go ahead and get those beads installed. So it's been a couple weeks since we had the uh, the welds, the skinnies. Um, went to put them on that night because I was super excited. Put them on, they hit my brake caliper. Um, called weld, they said that I could ship them back the wheels even though the tires were mounted and I tried to mount them to the car. Uh, I was kind of upset and I'm like, well, I got these wheels, I waited eight weeks for them. How can I mount them? Uh, so, did a little bit of research online and I came up with this. It's a hub adapter. It mounts to your hub and your wheel mounts to that. Uh, this is an inch and a quarter. Uh, if you get an inch, you'll have to grind off your factory studs or at least um, a good portion of them. I believe when well, I measured them, they're an inch and one eighth. Um, so if you get a one inch hub adapter, it's not, you're gonna have to grind off your factory stud. I don't wanna do any grinding. So inch and a quarter looks pretty good, uh, if not great. It pushes the wheel just enough out. So if you've ever seen these cars with skinnies, um, what ends up happening is the wheel gets pushed way back into the wheel well. Me personally, I don't like that. It was kind of a blessing in disguise that they didn't fit. Only drawback was it damaged one of my calipers and both the wheels because they wanted me to mount both for whatever reason. Um, Weld seems to think that they mounted, since it's a two-piece wheel, they mounted the barrel, or the wrong barrel, I should say, to the face that I ordered. Ended up waiting eight weeks for those wheels. So I'm like, how can I use them? I want to figure out how I can get them to, to go on the road. So uh, this is going to be your way to use it. You may or may not need this. I've never been a big fan of running adapters. Um, did a lot of, you know, like I said, I, I, I do research on everything, so I'm not just gonna go out and buy some product. Titan, you can see here, they have very, very good ratings. They have, you know, a long standing with manufacturing these hub adapters. If you feel it, it's got really good weight. Um, I actually was recommended these by a guy on Facebook who ran them. I think his car ran mid to low nines, and he said that he, Ran them on the street up to 170 plus. So, um, not to say that I'm going to do 170 on the street. Maybe, maybe, we never know. Um, but I really like the look. I know I'm rambling here, but there's been a lot that's happened in the past couple weeks to try and get these wheels on this car. Um, and I've tried almost everything under the sun without these because I was really not trying to use these. Uh, well, recommended that I get a 5 8, five eight spacer for these wheels. So of course, I went out and got it. Even with these, it didn't work. So I went and got a 10 millimeter spacer, which is uh, almost one of those and maybe a quarter, one and a quarter. Even with the 10 mil, it still didn't work. So I'm like, all right, how do I figure out how to use these wheels? I've pretty much spent all day driving around getting these. I really don't like these either because these feel like they're cheap. I feel like they, they would break. Um, this, however, this is not, this does not look like it's going to break. So we're going to run the car. Fingers crossed it all stays together. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the wheels look really good. I can't wait to put the rears on. Um, yeah, we've got a couple other videos of big boxes and unboxes and making loud noises. So here we go.
As you can see, I mounted the skinnies in our garage. Uh, I made the front wheels out of the driveway. Heard a loud pop and bang. And yeah, the, the wheel actually separated. The front lip flew off of the face of the, the wheel. These are brand new, not even 0.1 miles on them. 